Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody. Orex Cody, how's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from inside or outside of the United States. I always love to know. I haven't stuttered in the intro in a hundred videos, man. I'm leaving it in. Today's story was absolutely wild. Absolutely crazy. One of the worst wake and bakes of my life. The story took place at my buddy's house in high school. This was the same place where I'd serve Bud all day. He had like the drive-through, <laughs> he had like a drive-through situation on his, on his driveway because it was like a U. So I'd stand at like the top of the U. People would pull in, here's the, here's the weed man, give me the money. And they'd just pull out one swift motion. It was fucking awesome. And this was also the period of time where I had a really, really big bong. It was one of the best bongs I've ever had. A 22 inch straight shot SB, which I think is a brand off of the brand Roar, which was legendary. I remember like paying my friend to hit his Roar bong because he was like upperclassman, like didn't want to hang out with me because I was young. But I was like, dude, dude, I'll give you five bucks. Just let me hit the Roar once, man. It was totally worth it, too. I think it had like an ice catcher and everything, put the ice in there, man, man, that was one of the best bongs ever. Like there's something about quality glass, it is so worth it because it's just, it just hits so much better, it's so smooth. The story starts at my buddy's house, I slept over his house, it was like 5, 6 in the morning, we used to always go and wake and bake with the bong outside, it was so chill man, the crisp air. Nice bong hits. Probably listen to Sublime or Slightly Stupid on one of our old Android shitty phones. Maxing out the volume on it. It's all distorted anyways. Listen. We make it wake up his dogs. They start barking at us. His parents would get pissed. Come out. What are you guys doing? They see us with a big ass bong in the front yard, dude. We had this really chill spot. Right in, right in the front of his house, there was this big tree with a picnic table. And we'd be out there just smoking bongs. Like every time a car would go by, we'd be like, oh, hide it, hide it, hide it, dude, hide it. We were really blowing up the spot, making it fucking level 10 sketchy, I gotta say. <laughs> this time. This time, dude. I remember I just recently got back from riding with this crazy ass driver to go to like a couple towns over and get like this fire butt. Like this stuff was next level. This was from the same plug that I made a video about getting robbed. This was like one of the only times I just had my money stolen from me. Like it was, I think it was 180 bucks or 160 or something. I was getting like half ounce and I know it's expensive, but anyway, it was fucking gas. But He's like, yeah, just go to go around the corner. It was that story. If the person's got to go around the corner for a second, it's gone. Dude. You're beat. <laughs> so I had a fresh pack of this bud. I remember it always tasted and smelled so fruity and just so good. We're sitting out on his front picnic table getting faded as a hoe. All right, dude, shout out Fulcrum, man. I love that guy. Yodi gang. And we would just keep going with this bong. I had like a really small like bowl slide in it. And I would just pack it right to the brim and we'd, we'd clear it all in one and then keep passing it around. We probably were going through an eighth this morning, getting blitzed, getting category six blasted. I remember so vividly the bong was passed back to me. And as I'm like grabbing it out of my friend's hand, cops just start whipping by, dude. Lights on, full fucking force. Four or five cops just whip by the house. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, freaking out. I grab the bong. We start running away, like towards like the backyard, and we're like just like peeking around the corner, dude. Endless cops, like the whole fucking squad, the whole goddamn police force is just flying by my dude's house. It's like a scene out of a fucking movie, man. We're sitting there, hearts bumping out of our chest. I ran into my dude's basement. And I put the bong away, like put a blanket over it. I'm thinking, oh my God, the cops are going to come raid us. Because this would always be a fear on my mind. We used to just sit there and fucking sell ounces of butt all day. Sometimes even close to like quarter pounds, half pounds. Listen, there were some good days. And I would always worry about the cops showing up. Like they, they built some investigation on me or something. <laughs> I was so paranoid, dude. And I, cause I was worried it was my buddy's house. I didn't want to get his, you know, his parents in trouble too on top of it. Like they would always be pissed seeing me out there do that. Cause that's what they thought was going to happen too. So I'm thinking, fuck, today's the day, dude. It's, it's happening right now, man. Everybody's all fucking freaking out. So we put everything away. We hide everything we can. There's so much shit around the room. There's no way it was everything. And we, we creep back outside. We're just like looking, we're waiting. And then the worst case scenario, a fucking cop pulls into the driveway. So we're like, oh, here we go. That's it. We're fucking beat. 
I'm be going to jail today, dude. We got like three ounces of bud down there, the bong. They're going to find it all. They're going to bring in the drug dog. It's all over. I'm seeing movies reenacted in my vision, dude. I'm fucking done. I'm so baked. Whole eighth through the fucking 22 inch straight shot to my dome. Absolutely obliterated. <laughs> as soon as we saw that cop pull in, we fucking backed up. We're in the backyard bugging out. My buddy's looking at me like, dude, I told you this is going to happen. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? And then we start to relax a little bit, just a little bit, because we see the homeowner, like my, my buddy's stepdad goes out there and starts talking to the cop and it doesn't look serious. You know, it doesn't look that serious. And then we put two and two together in our minds and we're like, wait a minute. This dude knows a couple cops in the area. I don't know why he did. There had been a couple times where we're chilling there and like he, a cop would show up and he was like complaining about something. Like he, it's like he knew people in the cops and was like, yeah, this person's doing this, man. You should look into that, like that kind of stuff, man. Like nothing on a personal level. Like I think it was like business, like business tactics to try to fucking like, I don't know, to make his business work better. Anyways, some corrupt ass cops or something. We sat there quiet as a mouse. The anticipation of figuring out what was going on was killing us, dude. We were basically sober at this point. We were so fucking shivered in our boots, dude. Shivered to the core. We waited there for like 20 minutes while they were just sitting there talking. Felt like every minute was an hour long. And finally, finally, this cop pulls out real slow like, and the my buddy's stepdad comes back in. We rush upstairs and we're like, dude, what just happened? What were all the cops flying by for? And it turns out, it turns out that the neighbor two houses down had a huge grow op in their backyard, like just boldly out, out in the open, not fenced in. You could almost see it from the road. It was so big and like the plants were like seven feet tall and then other neighbors had been complaining for weeks and the cops were building this investigation. And the way that they found this guy, they found his farm. They flew drones over his property, top-down view, saw the plants. Can you imagine that? They brought out the fucking drones. This was 20, 20 fucking, 2015, 2016. That just says enough how much fucking money the police force has here, dude. Like drones were expensive back then. On top of it, I can't believe they even had that technology. I wonder if they hired like a, a third party like company to come in and be like, all right, we're gonna need some drone shots and like didn't tell him what it was for. I don't know the dude's name or otherwise I'd look up the, the, the case and see exactly what he was charged for. Like, cause I want to know the amount, dude. Cause I think when they catch you with a grow up, they like take the whole plant out of the ground and like just weigh the whole thing. And that's how much like it's it, crazy. Absolutely crazy. I don't know if they count the plants or like how it's done. I remember hearing stories from this old head we used to smoke with down at the, the rope swing. And he would tell me that when he was a kid or he told me when he was a kid that he got caught with like, it was like 14 grams of weed. So like a half ounce. And dude, the cop was such a dick that he took the weed, weighed it with the mason jar. So it was like what, like a pound or something crazy. So he had a felony on his record for that. And he had to actually go to jail other than like get a ticket or maybe like a misdemeanor or something with the jar. That's some fucking bullshit. Like you, you can, dude, imagine you're rocking a jar like this, man. You know, zero to 60, you're going to be El Chapo, man. I thought that was the day. I thought that was the day I was going to jail, man. That shit was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Probably one of the scariest wake and bakes of my life. I should title the video that scariest wake and bake. Maybe I'll think of something better than that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to support the channel and get access to the uncensored version of this video, I may or may not allegedly may have been smoking a dube this entire video. All right. May or not. If you want to see the uncensored version plus 150 other videos, smoking videos where I do question and answers, nature stuff. Check out the link in the description for a dollar to a month. You can support the channel over on Patreon. I'll put a list of all the names on screen right now that are showing support. Thank you very much to everybody on screen. It means the world to me. The support helps me way more than you know. And I really enjoy making those videos. But before this video ends also, let me know if you've ever had any close calls like this. I don't I don't think any of you guys have had something similar to this because this was crazy, bro. The neighbors getting raided with the giant grow up. Like we had no idea about it. But apparently it was like almost visible from the fucking uh But apparently the cop, like my buddy's stepdad's friend cop like gave him all the details and stuff and was like i don't know how we didn't catch him earlier man like you could basically see the thing from the street the plants were seven feet tall like oh. 
What a bozo, number one. Like, how are you going to make it that large scale in a suburban neighborhood? They're basically living in Karen Central, man. Fucking light off a firework and, like, four cops show up in three minutes. Hopefully none of you guys have ever been raided by the cops. I feel like a couple of you guys probably have in the comments, dude. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Leave me a comment down below, even if it's not related to the question I just asked. I love reading your guys' comments. It makes my day. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos, dude. I got a bunch of stories on my white whiteboard over there, so you got a lot of videos coming your way. And for the OGs, dude, if there's any videos that, like, my memory is not that great of, like, if you tell me the video title, I'll remember the story, obviously. But if there's any videos I haven't remade from before I had to delete my videos please, that you want to see, please let me know in the comments. Because, like I said, my memory is just going, dude. It's fucking 10 years ago a lot of these stories happened. Like, the actual events, I can vividly remember because they were scary most of the time or something crazy happened. But it's always nice to be reminded. All right, it's always nice to be reminded of at least the, the title of, like, what happened. But thank you for spending this time out of your day to watch my video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy. Peace.